Hi traders, this is Forex Nelson and I'm back again today with another 10 trades. Today's date is February the 28th and I'm using my new Pip Snagger trading system. It uses the Heiken Ashi candles, easy for pinpointing the beginning of up and down moves. And I'm also using this magic indicator I call it's the TZ indicator trigger zones it really helps to find the beginning of the up and down cycles within the market it is also great for traders who love to scalp the markets on the five minute time frame you can easily trade all three trading sessions 24 hours a day now I call that the flow of the market this um up and down cycles so anyhow now before I get into these trades right at 6 a.m. right here where this line is between 6 and 7 I am doing my daily trade plan we can take a look at that here it is here I analyzed 21 instruments here and I did about half today now not every one of these will turn into a winner but a very high percentage I don't know exactly what it is let's go with 80 percent because if the market hits strong support or resistance even though I'm saying buy it can actually go in the opposite direction and that's why you got to get in at the beginning of each and every cycle and of course that'll give you some pips no guarantees 50 or 100 pips but 5 or 10 pips winner is still better than a 30 pip um, loser you can put this on pause and um, check out all the trades that I did and you'll see that I um, was going in the right direction of what I rec my recommendations now if you're not doing a daily trade plan doesn't have to look exactly like this but you have to know should you be buying or should you be selling and if you're not doing this an hour before you start to trade um, that's probably a very good reason why you are losing okay and there was only one preferred here pound New Zealand uh, which I did sold it right here should have realized by now looking at this Forex pays not too bad but the futures, the ones at the bottom here, pays a lot more. But just as easy as you can make a lot more, you can lose a lot more. So you have to be careful. Here we go in the first trade on this uh, Eurocat. There's the arrow, like I said, taken directly from the daily trade plan. I knew I wanted to be selling. Sold it here. That's when I actually saw it. Okay, let's see where I got in at, right at this cursor here. Went a little bit against me, no big deal. Around 20 some pips, 25 pips. Could have made 44. But uh, when I close out the trades, I'm generally happy and I'm trying to get 200 pips or t and ticks day in and day out. And today, I'm only guessing here, but this is well, should be well above the uh, 300. Looks like I locked in uh, 15 pips here, and 15 pips on the Eurocad paid $1,182. Moving right along to the next trade, Euro Aussie. Here we go. Knew I wanted to be selling it. And uh, actually, it did qualify for a great way to trade, as I teach within the training videos. Got in at this cursor didn't go much against me and I closed it out looks like with 18 pips and those 18 pips paid $1,304 okay let's move on to the next trade pound CAD another one I wanted to be selling there's the arrow once you do a daily trade plan and you pop in the arrow I do this manually it's not part of the system and um, when you're following uh, tw 
around 20 instruments, it's hard to remember should I be buying or should I be selling. Now I should have got in over here and here, but uh, this is where I decided. And it could have easily just went straight down. And I knew it was going to test this bottom. Could have stayed in a little bit more. But as I said many times, I'm not looking for a set number of pips. I'm just looking for a grand total on a bunch of trades. This one here looks like uh, 16 pips I ended up getting. Could have made uh, 58, but uh, 16. And 16 pips paid $1,339. Okay, let's move on to the next trade, Pound Aussie. Another one I wanted to be selling. And in real time, it was based on the meter here. Pound was much weaker. So, did qualify for a great way to trade as I teach within the training videos. Here we go. Okay, let's see where I got in at here. Decided to do one more cycle, not a big deal. Around 23 pips. I knew with 95% certainty it was going to go down. Ended up with, um, looks like 18 pips. And those 18 pips on the Pound Aussie paid $1,377. Okay, let's move on to the Pound New Zealand. If you remember this one here on the, uh, let's see, let's take a look at it. There it is there. It was the only one that was preferred with five downs all in a row here. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed to go down, but on this day, it did go down. Pound New Zealand. Double arrows means this one I'm really interested in. And then of course you have to wait for the cycle which um, started right here. And then another cycle starts right here. So pick your entry points. I got it in, in somewhere in the middle, not a big deal. I knew it was gonna go down, did qualify for a great way to trade. Ended up with 30 pips. It looks like those 30 pips on the pound New Zealand paid $2,094. Okay, let's move on to the next trade. Let's see, dollar CAD, dollar CAD. Here we go. This one here, wanted to sell. There's the arrow. Qualified for a great way to trade using the uh, indicators on the top and the bottom. Let's see where I got in at. Make sure I catch it. Takes a second or two to come in there. Got in here, did a pull back here and here. Let's see where I got. Uh, let's see how many pips I did get. Looks like uh, 20, 27 pips. And 27 pips on the dollar CAD paid $2,123. And now we can move into the instruments that pay more silver. Keep in mind silver pays $50 a pip silver. Here we go. So you're not going to get a very big move, but you're going to get paid okay. Let's see where I got in at. Now when I pulled the trigger, I waited for the first blue candle to get in. Should have got out up here, but I had a couple of distractions around the house. And when I saw this red candle, I figured better close the trade with a profit. So, did qualify for a great way to trade. And looks like I closed it out with only um, five times uh, six will be 30. So that'll be correct. So it's six pips times 50 times 10 lots that works out to be exactly three thousand dollars moving on to the s p 500 this one here pays five dollars a pip or tick or whatever you want to call it 
It's all the same to me. Let's drag and drop this up. Now where I took the trade right here, should have waited, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Did qualify for a great way to trade. Took the trade here, went against me a bit, and I closed it out being profitable with 70, uh, it should be 76 and change. That's, wait a second, 76 and change. I just use a calculator and it should be approximately 77. Let's see if I can get that close. Well, that's close enough. 76.5, but it did say 77. So we're gonna go with 77. And those 77 uh, pips paid $3,875. Moving on to the next trade, Russell. Russell now pays $10 a pip. Look at that move. Looking pretty good. Russell, if you are patient and wait for the pullback, which many times I don't, but I knew that's as much as it's gonna go, getting in right here and getting out up there would have been the ideal way of trading, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I was very happy. Let's see what I was happy with. Uh, 9300 so it should be 93 pips let's see there it is right there 93 so 93 pips paid out $9,300 let's move on to the last trade NASDAQ this along with the uh, DAX 30 got to be careful with those two they pay a lot and move a lot NASDAQ, $20 a pip. Nice big move in here. This one I know I'm going to wish I stayed in for some more. Because look at how much more it was. A lot more. 123 more. One of these days I'm going to hang around for more. But again, I was happy. Let's see what I was happy with. Remove the last two digits. I know it's got to be close to 50. So 49.87. Remove the last two digits. It's 49. And 49 pips paid out $9,960. And taking a closer look at this trade, it also did qualify for a great way to trade. Another great day of trading. Great results using my Pipsnager. Remember, Pipsnager along with the daily trade plan. That's a good combination to have both. Highly recommend you do exactly the same thing, especially with the daily trade plan. I added up everything, all the pips and ticks. It was well over 300. Um, I ended up with 349 pips, which paid out $35,556. So if your system is not producing on a daily basis like my Pipsnagger system, I recommend you getting your hands on it along. You should think about some kind of a trade plan. You want some more information? All you got to do is look right below this video. My Pipsnagger system, I do charge $250 for it. I teach how to trade the flow of the market. This uh, TZ indicator helps a lot. Now my system has five gigabytes of training and you'll get an exact copy of my system on your MT4 platform. Included are five MT4 templates, 10 custom indicators, and my favorite meter. Now I threw in a lot of PDF books, a lot of Word documents, and nine bonus video. This is just all bonus stuff. Lots of training and education that um, you're gonna need quite a bit to help you succeed at trading the markets. Now there's a lot of ways to trade and I do teach a lot of different ways to trade the markets. That's why there's 50 training videos. Now you can put the video on pause here. You can read all the different ways here. And if you have any questions, simple, just pick up the phone and call me. If you live too far, all you got to do is send me an email. Here's my email address. Remember there's an underscore here. Now I do prefer Skype. 
you have Windows 10 all you got to do is click on this link we'll have a connection and through Skype screen sharing I'll give you a free session I'll answer your questions and I'll give you uh, some tips and tricks keep in mind there is no obligation to you now if you click on this link here you'll see 35 um, screenshots of all the systems I've been building over the years so it's just about time to wrap up this video and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so until the next uh, trading day and video should be tomorrow I want to wish you good luck with your trading and remember to keep yourself and your family safe. Okay, bye for now.